What is up, my friends? Welcome back to the Wall of Monkey channel. All right, let's dive into Wings Federal Credit Union is what we're gonna deep dive today. This is another hidden gem. If you watch the whole unfolding of the BECU, uh, Baxter Credit Union, then you know that as soon as that went hot and started going viral across the internet, that uh, they completely changed the underwriting process. And now here we are a couple months later and they're denying memberships and they're completely changing. Expect similar to happen with this. I don't think this has gone viral yet at all. So you guys are literally the first ones watching this, getting intel on this. It's starting to kind of pick up a little bit of steam in the FICO forums. I've seen like two or three recent approvals, but that's about it. So you guys are literally some of the first. Also, if you want more information like this before we even shoot videos, uh, a lot of times we don't even shoot videos on this stuff, join a Discord. It's free, or if you want full access to information like this, it's $29.99 a month. That's cheap, guys. That's less than a dollar a day. That's less than your Starbucks coffee or your daily energy drink allowance. If you're serious about this and you want to get more credit funding, understand the game, then you invest in yourself. And investing in something like this is absolutely ridiculous. Our community is filled with people from all ends of the spectrum. No credit and rebuilding all the way up to millions of dollars in credit and assets. Again, check out the link in the description if you wanna jump in there. We share a lot of stuff in there that we never shoot videos about. I actually don't like shooting videos a lot of times about stuff like this because it just kind of ruins it and it uh, destroys the bank and your chances of getting in. So this is red hot. If you wanna get in, pay attention, follow along. This is a pretty big bank. They got a B plus rating on deposit accounts. They've got over $8.5 billion in assets. So that puts them definitely in the top 100 credit union, uh, which we pay attention to on this channel. If you're new here, we like to stick to the top 100 or so credit unions because they tend to be managed better, run better. They have more you know, SOPs and stuff in process to help people get from membership to credit approval on their products, right? They've got personal and business covered. Business, they only got checking and we don't have any intel on this. And they've got commercial loans, which seem to be really, really good. Low rates up to, I think it was like starting at $2 million up to 20 million or something like that. So the business side is good, but no credit cards. On the personal side, they've got three credit cards, your typical kind of platinum card, and then a couple of rewards cards. And then they got loan products. So I state that because you might be able to double dip. More on that in a second. I'm gonna give you all the sauce, all the intel, stick with me. All right, next, another thing you might wanna look at is check this out. They are giving 5% APY on a 10 month cert right now minimum of only $500. That's kind of crazy. Understand that to get a membership, to get a savings account or a cert set up, you need a membership. So everything that we're about to cover applies to you. All right, so let's dive in now and get into the data points. Let me pull them up here. They will hard pull on membership. So just to get a membership, just to get a CD set up, a cert set up, they will hard pull you. Yeah, it kind of sucks. That being said, they will immediately give you pre-approved offers on credit cards and auto loan and auto refinancing, which means that's why I thought maybe you might be able to double dip. We don't know for sure. You guys let me know after you go through and uh, do it, but you might be able to double dip. So get a credit card and a loan product of some sort. Next is they will pull Vantage 4.0, Experian. Let me say that again. They will pull Vantage 4.0 score, the Experian Credit Bureau. If you have no clue about Vantage, then you're gonna wanna tune into the Vantage 234 video that we shot. If I don't remember to pin it here, then uh, just check on the channel. It was shot within the last month or so. So that will bring you up to speed on everything Vantage that you need to know. They will hard pull on membership, understand that, but they will immediately give you pre-approved offers. Let's take a big step back. How do we get in? Well, they uh, mostly serve, it was uh, airline based, and then I think they bought somebody out in 2010, another credit union, and now they kind of open the doors. So they service geographically Minneapolis and Seattle, but you can get in by joining the Wings Financial Foundation, WFF, with a $5 donation. So that's your way in. They're gonna hard pull you on membership. You get pre-approved offers right away. And the next big thing is that you gotta have your check systems unlocked. They will hard pull check systems, which most credit unions do. But if you have that locked, they will deny you instantly. We had somebody go through, check systems was locked, denied. So we've already seen the email sequence and stuff that they send out when they deny you. So to keep that in mind. Next, they give you a free credit report, your Vantage 4.0 credit reports. So a lot of us in the community are still trying to figure out like, where do I even go to get Vantage 4 scores? A lot of people are still trying to figure this out because you can't get it in a lot of places. Most of it is Vantage 3. Well, you can get your Vantage 4 scores from them just by setting up an account. So you could even set up a basic checking and savings and still get access to that Vantage 4 score if you really wanted it. Next is they seem conservative. And so what I mean by that is we only have a few data points at this point of people who've actually gotten approved. We saw 680 get approved with 5,000 and then we saw over 700 get approved for a $15,000 card. But everyone's stating that they're conservative. It seems that way. A 680 getting approved, it's not always about the score. So I assume there's other factors at play. Like they've got a thick file, they've got mortgages on their student loans. You know they 
we've got everything that the credit unions want to see, and that's why it got approved because 680 usually isn't approved. That being said, we need to call something out here is there's a huge difference usually between your Vantage scores and your FICO scores. We're talking like 50 to 100 points. If your Vantage 3 scores are sitting, you know, 75 points below your FICOs right now, this probably isn't the play for you. You know, if you've got a thin credit profile, 30K stated income, two trade lines, and you're thinking that you're gonna hell marry this thing and get a 20K card, probably not to play, it's not gonna work. They're looking for a more seasoned profile. So that means like 60K and above stated income, you know, five, 10, 15 different accounts already set up, two years, four years, five years, average age of account. That's what they're looking for. You know, that's like the baseline for a lot of these banks. If you've got that, credit score matters a little bit less. They'll take in those 680s, 670s, things like that. Let's cover the cards now. So we've got three cards. We've got two cash back cards, and then we've got the, the low interest platinum, which you see usually at uh, credit unions. This is standard, right? And this, if you play your cards right, can be used as a great debt weapon as well. 0% APR for 12 months on all three cards. And then you see this one starts at 13% APR, whereas the other two start at 18. Here's where I want your, your eyes to go if they haven't already. Minimum credit limit for both the cash back rewards cards is 5,000. The minimum for the uh, Platinum is 500, which I would never want to limit that low on something that I'm trying to use as a debt weapon. I want a fat limit. I want a 20, 30K limit on something like this so that the 0% APR can actually be used to uh, do its job and be used, like I said, as a debt weapon. So their cards are pretty killer, right? $5,000 minimum credit. Uh, that reminds me of flagship through Navy Federal, which is a $5,000 minimum as well. Those are the three cards. Like I said, they got personal loan products. You might be able to double dip. We're not sure. Uh, let us know in the comments below. That's the data points. So I'd love to hear if any one of you have gotten approved or as this starts to get hot and you know, just like BCU, share the approvals in the comments below. That's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you wanna join the community, stay at the cutting edge of information like this. The link is in the description. Catch you in the next one. Hey, you should subscribe. 60% of you are not subscribed yet. Right there. Okay, bye. Wild monkey.